fair. And uh, just to end off, we only sell two types of seed, uh, hybrids and open pollinated. And uh, there's also GMO. Uh, we don't do genetically modified uh, seeds. And just to quickly, I don't know if you all know the difference between the hybrids and the open pollinated. Or if I must just quickly. This is grade five. Grade okay. Yeah. 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 If I can just quickly. Yeah. When, I, when I'm talking. Um, <laughs> when I'm talking about the open pollinated seeds, uh, those are seeds which are naturally occurring. Well, you can buy it at Sakata, you can buy it at Stack Age, you can buy it at Syngenta, you can buy it from any other company. Because it's what we call open pollinated. They are naturally occurring. Uh, back in the days, our grandmothers would harvest the seed, keep the seed, and plant them there next season. Whereas when I'm describing a hybrid, uh, the best way to describe a hybrid, I always use the example I used for my little cousin. And it's to say, if you look at a horse and you compare it with a donkey, ne? a donkey is stronger than a horse, right? And a donkey doesn't get as sick as quickly as a horse does. But a horse is faster than a donkey. And a horse looks better, in my opinion, than a donkey. Ne? <laughs> so... Uh, putting, putting, a horse, putting a horse and a donkey together, you get a mule, correct? Yeah. And the reason people used to breed mules is because they wanted both the benefits. Mm. The fastness of a horse, but it's strong as a donkey and it resists uh, a disease as much as a donkey and does not look as bad as a donkey, you see. <laughs> so essentially, when I'm talking about hybrids, it means that it are seeds that we, have, we bred with specific intentions. And the usual intentions are disease resistance, yield quality uh, and those become very important uh, i see you guys have got tomatoes in here if you're doing tomatoes you know that shelf life is a very important thing mm -hmm. how long your tomato can stay firm until it gets to the shelf right is a very important thing and you'll get that more with hybrids than you would with open pollinated varieties another thing is that disease resistance becomes important because now there are certain diseases now that you've got resistance to you don't have to go and buy chemicals you can focus on buying the chemicals for tuta <laughs> Instead of buying for the uh, for, for other diseases, you know. So essentially, when we are speaking about the hybrids, we are speaking about the premium seed, uh, which is the difference. So those are the two types of seed that uh, we have at Sakata: the open pollinated and the hybrid.